I just want to say it truly is an honor to meet you. Thank you. The honor is mine. I just absolutely love this movie. My producer, who's with me, he's over there somewhere, had a comment. He said, this story is why you make movies. Oh, you're going to make me cry. That is, that is beautiful. You know... I think that this is all about storytelling. It's all about coming clean and discussing these weird stories that believe we, I believe we all have. And my hope for the movie is that once people see it, that they'll be more compelled to tell their own stories. But what a story, and how brave of you to actually put it out there. I mean, if I started talking about my family, they'd disown me. <laughs> you but know, I, I felt ultimately that I couldn't not tell the story. I was tired of being ashamed. I was tired of changing the topic when people asked me about my childhood. I tried to write it a number of times and I couldn't. And when I hit about 40, I just felt, I, I've got to do this. And I was convinced I'd get fired from my job and I'd lose all my friends. And one of the many things I hope I've learned is people are kinder and wiser and more compassionate than I realized. But also, we've all got a story. We do. Yeah. And But not everybody gets to turn into a major motion <laughs> picture. So when you, the book, obviously, congratulations on that. Uh -huh. A bestseller for so long. Yeah. I mean, that's just got to make you so it's proud. It's just so weird. <laughs> it's got to be. But then you find out there's a major motion picture coming. Yeah. And what were your first thoughts when you heard that? Well, you know, it was in the works for a long time. A bunch of people took a stab at it. Nobody could figure out how to turn this wacky story into a movie. And then this genius, Destin, got his hands on it and he saw the story about the, the relationship between the father and the daughter and I just I trusted him uh, you know at first I, 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 I didn't know what he was gonna do with it but his questions and his previous work this is a man who understands that love and anger and hope and despair can exist within the same big ball of wax and he asked all the right questions so I just said you know Destin I'm gonna trust you here's the my mess of a story you make it into a movie um, and he he consulted with me constantly and there were a couple of times I got in arguments and disagreed with him he was right <laughs> he was always right he's smarter than I am so you know he knows this medium and he wanted my input whenever he, he went off the book does this sound right does this feel right I'm thinking of telescoping this I'm thinking Kind of expanding it, can you tell me anything about what happened? How's mom? I'm a mama's boy. Oh. <laughs> so I have got to ask about mom. I love her paintings. Are there any of hers in the, in the film? They're all hers. Oh my Except gosh. Except for the ones that were destroyed. Destin is so cool. He came to visit me in Virginia. I built a house for my mother. She lives behind me. And they hit out just immediately. Destin gets wacky creative types. Um, and he opens up a shed and there's all mom's paintings, like about five or 600 of them. And he'd been planning to hire an artist to recreate them. He, he thought, why recreate them when they all exist here? And it wasn't an homage to my mother. It was an homage to truth. It was, it was, this is the type of painting mom would do. She's great. At first she didn't want to participate for the movie. I think she thought they were going to vilify her. And, and so when they cast Naomi Watts, my, my mom calls up my sister Lori and says, who is this Naomi Watts character? And Lori said, she's very beautiful and very talented. Mom's on board. <laughs> <laughs> well, but what do you say to people that may see this film and relate to it? And it's maybe in a similar situation, not as, as I mean, to the extreme as where you were Or maybe up. more extreme. Or maybe more extreme. But what do you say? Just trust yourself. Trust yourself, trust your story. We've all been through things. That doesn't make us, if you go through wicked, bad things, that doesn't make you a wicked, bad person. We, there's hope out there. And I honestly believe that those of us who've had tough times can be at an advantage over those who haven't struggled because we learn so much about survival, about getting through these times. And you, you learn lessons that you're gonna need when times get tough because they inevitably do.